to the families and friends and to the graduates of the higher education program at the Harvard Graduate School of Education, class of 2020. It is hard to know where to begin in making these remarks, so please allow me to be a little sentimental and take a trip back down memory lane this past year. The first time we all came together as a group was on a Sunday afternoon. It was August 25th, and one by one, or in small clusters, you literally burst through the doors of rooms four and five of the Gutman Conference Center, brimming with energy and excitement, and perhaps a small amount of fear and trepidation. Judy McLaughlin, Julie Rubin, Beatrice Wazen, Bulabali, and I were there welcoming you with big smiles and encouraging words. The room was immediately abuzz with your talk and your laughter and your warmth. And that was even before we all played extreme rock, paper, scissors. And throughout our afternoon together, you courageously shared your aspirations and goals with a group of total strangers who would become, over time, a lasting part of your lives. And later that week, we had our first higher education program curriculum meeting. Faculty Dick Light, Jim Honan, Jarvis Gibbons, Alexis Redding, Joe Zellner, and Matt Miller offered their words of advice to you. My main takeaway from their collective wisdom to you was, there are many, many opportunities that you will have over the next year, but don't try to do it all. In retrospect, you all pretty much ignored that advice and took way more classes, got involved in way more activities, went to way more events, and took on way more gigs than humanly possible. But your ambitious choices were always motivated by the desire to gain the knowledge and experience to become the best higher education professionals you could possibly be. And one other memory from that first week together, that Thursday evening was when we had planned the welcome reception on the rooftop of Felipe's Tecaria. That morning, the weather forecast was predicting a major storm coming through exactly at the same time. I was considering rescheduling it to a later date when I happened to run into a few of you in Gutman and asked your advice. Without hesitation, you emphatically told me that the show must go on and that you would help rally the rest of the cohort to show up. It did, in fact, rain down cats and dogs that night, but you all flexibly adjusted to the situation, showed up with gusto, and we had a great time connecting over tacos, churros, and margaritas. Since then, in the months that have followed with their ups and downs, those early characteristics that I came to admire so much in you, one, your generosity, two, your curiosity, and three, your resolve, have all persisted. So first, I want to personally thank you for the open-hearted generosity you have shown to me this year. You have all been so patient with me in my new job, learning right along with you, all on the same steep curve. I love my work here, and the main reason for that is because of you. I can't begin to tell you how much I have enjoyed meeting with you individually to talk about your professional aspirations and work through some personal challenges at times, having you in class where we get to discuss, debate, and try to solve all sorts of pressing issues, and hanging out with you, whether it be in the basement of Tasty Burger playing pool or at one of our more recent Zoom social hours. Thank you all for making this a very special first year for me. Second, you all are a very curious and enthusiastic group of nerds who can talk about anything and everything related to higher education 24-7. Your seriousness of purpose in building a strong foundation for the next chapters of your professional lives is inspirational. And I'm confident that whether your next step is to lead campus diversity, equity, and inclusion efforts, to transform admissions policies and practices, to delve into state or federal policy, pursue doctoral study or other work, 
you have the right tools and the right attitudes. I hope you will always be able to tap into your inner reservoir of enthusiastic curiosity throughout your career. Even when you get discouraged that things aren't changing fast enough or inevitably frustrated by one thing or another. You have chosen meaningful, worthy, and important work, and I wish you long and successful journeys in it. And third, this has not been an easy last few months for anyone. All of you were abruptly torn from the joys and comforts of being together along Appian Way. You had to quickly adjust to online learning and connecting with classmates, faculty, and staff in a whole new way. You are coping with the general anxiety of living during a pandemic, with some of you moving across the country to less than ideal living situations, dealing with stalled job searches, caring for elderly relatives, homeschooling young children, and enduring xenophobic and racist hostilities. The loss of lives and livelihoods that we are experiencing around us can at times be deeply overwhelming. And I want to acknowledge our individual and collective grief and loss during this time. But I also want to note, you all have dug in deep and have done what you've needed to do to complete your degree. That has taken your focus, determination, flexibility, and courage. Please do not underestimate neither the challenges each of you have recently faced, nor the strengths that each of you exhibited to get to where you are today. These attributes have served you well and will continue to do so throughout your lives. So my friends, the higher education program class of 2020 of the Harvard Graduate School of Education, it's been quite the year and I could not be any prouder of you all. Congratulations. The Intellectual Contribution Award recipient for the Higher Education Program, Kristen Robinson. Jimmy Aguilar. Janet Barbosa. Sophia Bauer Waysboard. Lauren Bashard. Colleen Mackenzie Bilak. Melissa Betancourt. Megan Braverman. Timothy Butterfield. Hilary Casavant. Matthew Chan. Anissa Connor. Katie Cordova. James Cora. Anne Marie Coyne, Julie Day, Caroline Dunn Rankin, Carolina and Janike Catinci, Patrick Stephen Gladstone. Catherine Rose Heiss. Michael Robert Hellman. Zhu Dak Nak Ho. Alicia Howell. Shaying Holly Huang. Allison Jegla, 
Alicia Johnson Williams. Olegbanga Joseph. Robin Kaplan Kadori. Erica Kim. Elon Levine. Yifun Brian Lee. Brian Libby. Natalie Martinez. Zoe Mayfield. Jamie Myers. Samyukta Natarajan. Jane Nguyen. Samantha K. Parker. Stephen M. Payne. Bill Prescott. Sarah Remilius. Mark Joseph Richter. Jesse Allen Rigby. Tammy Lee Ruda. Alyssa Samuel. Casey Schuler. Max E. Shuckman. Willard Simmons. Mary Elizabeth Straub. Prana Subaranian. Molly Thompson Vanderhaven. Rachel Urso. Siobhan Vega. Jessica Kaylin Wang. Rachel Emmeline Wilson. And the Marshal for the Higher Education Program, Donna Elizabeth Green. Congratulations to the class of 2020. As many of you who know me, I am not prone to making Pollyanna-ish sorts of statements, but your goodwill and generosity, your commitment and curiosity, and your determination and courage leave me confident and hopeful that these attributes you share as a class and possess as individuals will continue to steady and support you for the days and years to come. Go out there and do the good work you are meant to do. The world needs you. The Higher Education Program Class of 2020 will always have a very special place in my heart. And I look forward to staying in touch and hearing about all of your future adventures. Be well, my friends. Good job. <laughs>